Hi everyone, Merry Eve of Christmas Eve. We're so happy you're here. Today we have another fun thrifting adventure for you guys. I can't believe we're almost, I mean, Christmas is in just a few days. And because of that, we have a special little vlog footage at the end of this video that we thought was pretty fun and we wanted to share with you guys. But we're gonna head out thrifting now and see what we can find just before Christmas is here. Let's go. Our colors today are pink, yellow, orange. Piao, Pio. Excuse me. Do you like that seagull pin? I'm surprised they haven't gotten one Christmas pin this year. Yeah. Janine, a little upgrade from the McDonald's kitchen. <laughs> this is no, like I this is like a kid in uh, the year 2000 getting a kitchen, yeah, right? I think I'd rather the McDonald's one. No, I agree. The McDonald's one is better, for sure. Where are you going? Where's she going? What are you doing? Your cowboy hat. Yeehaw. <laughs> Look, Janine, it's a 1984 Cabbage Patch Kid um, stocking that oh, is very worn. You want a Cabbage Patch Kid stocking? Uh, no, I don't. No, no, no. No? <laughs> Look at these cute plates, guys. They're like sculptural and they're actually called. Sculptural Daisy Poppy Troll by Melt Metlon, I think. I looked them up and you know they can sell. There's a few of them here. This whole set could probably sell for $25 or so, but it's $3 a plate. And I'm not in the business of shipping these, but really fun. I really do like the design. And look, here are the matching bowls. These are really cute on their own, even. I do like them. Made in California. Look at this fun pile of guys. These are Scooby Doo mystery books from the year 2000. There's a bunch of them here. We'll be doing the groovy ghosts. They're like $3 each. I wonder if Janine would be interested. I think they're really fun. Look at that one with the witch. Do I grab this whole pile and show her? Or do I bring her over here? I think I'm going to bring her over here eventually and show her. For you. Oh, thanks. That's cute. It's one of the ones that dance, right? Yeah. Cute. Find anything else in the toy aisle so far? No, not really. No. Not really. It's a little um, empty. Actually, it's not too bad. No, I'm looking at it. Yeah, they are putting stuff out. Um, I want to show you something when you get a chance. I'm ready. Do you want to see? Yeah. All right, follow me. Oh my goodness. Look at them all. Aren't they fun? There's so many. Where are they from? They're from 2000. Wow. I thought this one was really cool. There's a few that have, um, like this one, has Frankenstein. That's so cool. And then there's one with um, a witch on the cover. Oh, wow. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Too bad they're, well, some of them are $2.99 and they're actually 50% off. So it's sort of fun, isn't it? I yeah. mean, this is the Scooby Doo we grew up with. I Piece love Scooby Doo. Television monster. Fun stuff, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. There's actually some like different like Halloween books here, too. So, I thought you would enjoy that. Yeah. Oh, look, sister, 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 getting along at the full, at full house. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder when this is from. I used to love full house. 1995. 1999. 1999. Jeez, but they are, um, I think they're, let me say, they're only 25% off. Wow. Mickey's Christmas Carol. That's a wild price. Oh, she's the little mouse from, um, what's it called? The movie with the mice. That you like, right? Um, because there are no An cats in America. In the street play goes goes with yeah, yeah, to America. Wow. Oh. Wow, look at that. How much is she? Only $2. And a pound puppy. New pound puppy. And Sponge. <laughs> sponge of the Bob. Look at he him. He is from 2000. Oh, he's cute. He's a, he's a classic. He is. He feels like a sponge. Yeah, you could probably use him as a sponge too if you wanted to. He's only $4, Janine. That's a really good price. I know. Oh, he's cute. He's cool. Also, I like to have a snowball fight. Look how cute. An indoor snowball fight. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that SpongeBob. Yellow M&M. Is that a peanut? That's a peanut, yeah. He's the peanut one. 
Yeah. Oh. 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 I got him. You got it? Yeah. What's this? What? Oh, Lala. Yep. That's. Yeah. What is? What's with Unique thinking that Teletubbies are literal gold? <laughs> oh, look! It's a zig. It's a little Christmas ziggy. Oh. Cute. Three dollars. Is that the same one we just saw? Wow, fun! Look guys, this is a little chalkware or chalk um, lamb. I thought it was a poodle at first. I wonder if it is Mark. It's four dollars. Not Mark, but it's really cute. I'm gonna have to show Janine. I, I wanted to show you. <laughs> Look at this little lamb. Oh, ball. cute! Black. Isn't it cute? That's Definitely really from cute. the 50s or 60s. It's only $4, but I don't know what I'd do with that. <laughs> it's cute though. What's that? Another calico. But look, that one just for one is $2. I don't think I'm going to get this guy. It's I do cute. like him though. It upsets me, but I can't have everything. Look at her, guys. She is, I guess, just a little girl. She looks a little newer to me. You, you'll find with a lot of the pieces that are like late 60s, early 70s, that their eyes are just like black dots rather than having pupils and irises and stuff like that. Also, she's broken. Just notice that. Um, and let's flip her over and see if we can see if my suspicion is correct. So the sticker started to rip up that blue sticker, unfortunately, but you can see it is made in Korea. So that's correct. This is a newer piece from the early 70s probably so things were produced in korea from the late late 60s through the 70s and then eventually things started to be made in china and taiwan wait guys i found the other one now it's a set and this one's six dollars oh how cute i don't know what to do I'm not going to get them. <laughs> I wouldn't display with them. I, I don't want to resell them. So I'll let somebody else uh, do that. But how cute are they? So nice that they were donated and saved rather than tossed. Show us what you just showed me. Another whole bag and these of are calico like, critters at these, a different location. Yeah, and these have like brand new little clothes and things. Oh my goodness. And $6. That's a great price, price again. Same price the other one. That's wild. And then I need to show you a couple things. This mug. Oh, cute. That's a, that's a that's a cat. Yeah. And then I thought this was at first. I thought this was like a zodiac mug. Right. And then I pulled it down and I was like, it's not. It's. I thought it was like really cute and I love that it. That is cute. The little horses on it. Look, see in Japan. It's yeah. a really nice mug. I love the colors on it. Right. Very nice. Oh, love it. Wow, look at you. This is a nice glass, nice amber glass. Also, I do want to pick your brain a bit too. Pick my brain on what? 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 Oh gosh. Look at these Ma Mickey glasses. What's up? Oh, oh they're tin, no? Mm -mm. Signature warehouse stoneware made in Japan. Those are nice. I really like those. Yeah, is that um, what I'm... Um, that's not oh. what I was picking your brain about. Okay. I was picking your brain about these. Oh. Mm. Interesting, right? Yeah, they are actually. They're the right color to be like Fiesta. But... Does mean like a um, Fire King? Yeah, they might. But they're not marked. No, they're not. Very interesting, but the paint application, like the way it looks, definitely looks... Mm -hmm older it has a very 40s look. it really does i wonder those look cool. i found too that like sometimes like they would only um mark certain plates or bowls in the set oh, like really? the, it was the dinner plate that was marked and the other ones weren't um i don't know if these go with it but that's an interesting find if you guys know any information that. drop a comment let us know there's no like um mold marks on the back or anything Tricky, tricky. So I came across these new old stock sugar and spice Lemax. 
um, things up here and I thought they were really cute like some of them are adorable but they're really dirty like they're definitely in somebody's basement um but you know emox has a good resale value and these are like Halloween Christmas hybrid which don't we all love they're so $2.99 each so I'm trying to pick, decide which ones to pick up these would definitely be for flips I thought they're really cute what do you guys think but look how dirty I'd have to clean these carefully look at that guy though and they're $2.99 each. So I'm gonna think about it and I'll show you guys which ones I pick up. Oh my goodness, 101 Dalmatians mug. Meet me for a spot of tea. Oh my gosh, I love that. Love, love, love that. Halloween fun pad, Janine. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What, what date is that? Where? Right there. Oh my god, has it never it's been used, but like in pencil. I love that cover. That's so cool. To get a date on that. Janine, it's from 1996. Really? Oh, it's so good, yeah. I mean it looks looks 90s Halloween for sure. Oh my god, I love it. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's so cool. Have to get that. So Found awesome. some that. Easter trolley brown. Yes. Aww. I found a bag of Littles Pet Shops. It's for $6. It's a great price. There aren't a ton of figures in here, though. And the ones you want to look out for are the ones from 2003, early 2000s. Um, and some of these are like McDonald's toys. So I probably won't pick it up, but definitely something to be on the lookout for. If it, It's a good flip, so I like to put them up here and there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this set behind. Just because there aren't as many figures as I thought there would be. Found some Legos. Yeah, Legos? Found some Legos and things. For yeah. some good prices. Um, yeah, they're half off. Oh. So I'm just gonna look and see which ones I want to get. Some little guys in there too. Yeah. What is that? What? That like little little thing right oh, there. Oh yeah, that's a little, little person thing. that will go in something. Oh, nice. Thank you. So the Legos aren't looking too hot, but this bag has a bunch of little, um, little tiny micro, machines. micro machine type of uh, cars and stuff. It's a fun little bag. Yeah. You'll have to show us what you find in there. There mm -hmm. might even be a dinosaur. <laughs> What'd you find? Vintage Lego. Um, Vintage space Lego. Guys. His face is all like worn off, but I have, um, I have like a set. This, this is actually a pretty profitable set if you find it for cheap. Oh you yeah? Can, um, flip it for, uh, yeah. Nice. So what are you going to do with it? Are you going to keep it? Are you going to sell it? I'll um, probably they... keep it because I have a few of them and his face is all worn off. Nice. So, but I'm excited. It? It's $10? half off. Yeah. Nice. $5. That's a good score. Thank you. Look at this, guys. It's a vintage. I think it's a bank. Yeah, $2.99. Your economical, persuasive, and sensitive made in Japan. Little um, cancer zodiac bank. That's really cool. If it was Pisces or Leo, I'd be tempted. But yep. he's also not in the best condition, but he's really cool. I came across this bag of ponies, which looks to be mainly like My Little Ponies um, from the mid 2000s. But then I spotted this pony, guys, and it just like stood out to me. It looked a bit um, older, almost like a Fisher Price pony. And after some deep digging on eBay and different sources, this is a My Pony Princess, I believe, and it's made by a company called Keenway. Pretty rare, not a ton of sold comps, but the bag is $3, so I might pick it up just to see if I could flip. I thought she was so cool. Definitely screams 80s, early 90s, wouldn't you say, Janine? Oh, yeah. With that little heart. Maybe it was a competitor to My Little Pony. I'll have to do more research and let you guys know in the haul, but I think I'm going to pick her up. Here's oh, Chuckles. Chuckles, and also Bubbles is in this bag. I'll have to look those up, too. Interesting. Is this Fisher Price, Chuckles? Oh. Well, who are you cradling there? <laughs> who are you cradling? What is that? That's like my pumpkin spice syrup pump that I need. Um, <laughs> who, who are you creating? These are uh, from 1996. They're like um, G.I. Joe army men, you know? Oh, cool. They're Hasbro. Pantless. Well, yes. 
What did you find there, Laura? I wanted to show, show you. Stuff? I have this little bag of plush. Oh How cute. Gosh, those are so Look cute. Look at the little nose. And then this one. Excuse <gasps> me, the little elephant yeah, with the little elephant. beret on. Adorable. It's... Wait, there's a beret on it? Uh, oh my goodness. There sure is. With a little pom pom on top. It looks like a little Nilla wafer. So cute. It's um 25% off. Three dollars, so less than three dollars for this, and then for five dollars, I found these amazing like '80s knitted what? like slipper socks. What? I'm. What is this? It's like a rubber, you know, like it's a fake leather, like rubber grippy bottom. But these are so '80s, right? Yeah, those are really cool. I think they're like brand new, and like '80s sweaters that look like this sell for a lot of money. I see on the eBay. inside. Oh yeah, that's true. They yeah. do. It's all knitted. Ah, oh. but definitely older. <laughs> Wow. I, I thought like these types of um, sweaters sell for like $50 on eBay. Mm. So maybe there's a market for the little slippers. I mean, how cool mm. is that? Yeah, you can even so wear those inside of shoes and just have like the top pop out. So fun. You know, I might pick them up. Yeah, that's cute. So, what did you get, Janine? I got the Jingle Bird. The Jingle what? Bird. The Jingle Bird. Jingle Bird. Very cute. It has like a it has rum and stuff. Surfing in it. Santa. Yeah. I was kind of saying what was in it. Oh, right. Yeah. It's very cute. And um, the entire place is decorated so cute. Look at the ceiling, guys. And I got a little, um, I forgot what it was called, but it's basically a pina colada. There's like a hibiscus in there. And the straw actually goes in here. Oh, oh my God, I just made a mess. <laughs> but it's really good, it's like a pina colada. So it's really cool in here though. Yeah, it's cute. She made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> got a little fried chicken sandwich, and Laura's got. I got a falafel with fries. Looks very yummy. I don't know if you can hear her, but she got a falafel with fries, and she said it looks very yummy. It does. Looks good. It does. Cheers. Cheers. Little um, starfish. Yeah, it's like a, a fish net instead of like ribbon. Oh, that's so cute! Under the sea Yeah, it's cute. Surprise! I picked up the little <laughs> elephant with the beret. I had to. So cute. Um, it's actually a Commonwealth, which is interesting. Um. Uh, Commonwealth makes a maid, or I don't think they're still in business. They made a lot of um, novelty type little like prize toys and stuff like that uh, through like the 80s and 90s. So this one's made in China. I picked these socks up a little bit of a gamble. I actually have them up on eBay now and I'm calling them Grandma Core uh, Pastel 80s. It's very in with the Gen Z and some of the millennials. Um, it's definitely like that pastel 80s look um and it's pretty popular if you find sweatshirts in particular with knitted designs like this with geese with kittens those sweatshirts can sell for like 90 to 100 dollars mm -hmm. um, i showed actually um laura doesn't know this but i oh. did i put a, a comp. comp in there um and i saw when i was looking for the comps a lot of the cats and the mm -hmm. geese and stuff were selling for 100 150 very interesting crazy so I thought these were just really different, um, not probably as collectible, so I had them for $18. There's three watches currently, so I don't think this will be a fast mover, but maybe and hopefully they will move. How wild that I found Calico Critters for the same price at two different thrift store locations. I mean, like a bag full of yeah. them too. So I have 
I think I counted in this bag, there was about 18 calico critters, including um, some little babies, which I will grab out in a second. But Laura, would you put your hand out maybe and I can kind of show how cute these are? And these are all calicos in the bag? These or? are all calico critters wow. in here. It seems like I have a lot of cats. Little mice. Oh, look, a little Labrador. Here's a bunny. And then in this bag, too, there are accessories. So, oh, here's a little baby. Cute. Baby. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, has some accessories. Like, this has a little, a little one still oh, wow. in there. It's sealed. Wow. So, I mean, there's a cooking pot. There's more little... Uh, I think there's a whole family. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Um, so... Very cool. And like I said, there's about 19 in here. So I guess they're brand new too because this stuff's still in the plastic. It's really wild. But I could probably get on eBay, I think, around 30 to $40, I think, for all of this. So it's pretty good. Yeah. So in the bag of Legos, I saw this minifigure along with some pieces. This is from a space set which I showed the comp in earlier. If you have all of the pieces, um, well, all of the minifigures, they came in four different colors, I believe. I think it's black, red, yellow, and blue. Um, if you have all of them together, you can get uh, $40 and up, depending condition. This guy, his face is a little worn, but I might replace it with this guy's face because I don't know if his entire body is there. But I do still have to look through the rest of this bag and see if there are other pieces. Um, but I collect these little guys with, the, well, the older little minifigures. Um, and I have a few in this set. So these will go into my collection. So as we discussed in the video, um, I did spot this horse. After some research, this is a My Pretty Pony from the 90s. Um, it is really cute, but it's not super collectible. It's not super sought after. So I do have it up on eBay. I don't think it's gonna move very fast, if at all. Um, but it's cool to be able to spot these things, you know, these older items from the 80s and 90s. It's something that I think Janine and I wanna keep a lookout more for in the new year. Super collectible, but just not something we like prioritize looking for or really come across too often. Right, Janine? Yeah, no, definitely. We don't come across a lot of the like girly 80s toys. Mm. Yeah, but I think we wanna to go to some estate sales, maybe some flea markets and try to find more things like this that maybe are a little bit more valuable. So I debated this for a while at the thrift store, but I did pick up, I'd say like almost all of these Limax sugar and spice little figurines from I think 2005. They were so dirty. I did a first pass at cleaning them, but I'm gonna clean them up even more so. But I picked them up because they are Halloween they are so cute and the comps on them are very interesting. I found a set of like nine of them without this insert in them that sold for like $60. Wow. I saw some individual ones um, that sold for like $20 plus $10 shipping. Um, I haven't seen like the really cute ones on eBay, but I think I might have something here, hopefully. I haven't listed them yet. Um, this one's just so cute. <laughs> and you guys know if you watch us that Halloween is just super, super collectible. Whether it's vintage from the 40s or even from the early 2000s, there's a lot of value in Halloween items. I think this might be one of them, and I'll definitely give you guys an update when and if these do sell, or if I keep them. We got some more Christmas cards in the mail from some of our followers and viewers. Thank you guys so, so much. The things you guys write are so sweet. Janine and I are just blown away by the support that we've gotten through the year, but we do want to give a special thank you to Ruth from Squirrel Vintage Shop. Thank you to Cindy Livingston. A thank you to Marianne and Catherine. Look how cute that little snowman is. Catherine Young designed and sent this really amazing vintage inspired Christmas card. Thank you so much, Catherine. If you guys have not checked out her channel, make sure to do that. She is Catherine Young on YouTube and Instagram, and she does some really fun content. And thank you to our last Catherine of the day, Catherine with a C. Thank you guys so much for all your cards and supports and Merry Christmas. One more thank you to Anne-Marie who sent us this really cute vintage inspired card as well as a Georgie book for Janine's bookcase and this really fun ghost book as well. Thank you so much. I've never seen this ghost book before. So cool and they will definitely be added to the shelf. Editing Janine. Yes, hello. We forgot a card. Yes, we forgot this adorable. I love the fact that this is in the shape of a present. This adorable card from our friend Linda. 
thank you so much we really appreciate it and we're gonna put all these cards up um and hang them up by our front door and we really appreciate all the cards that we've gotten Thank you guys so much for joining along in today's thrifting adventure. I cannot believe that Christmas is in two days, if that. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. So we hope everyone has a safe and happy Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. And if you don't celebrate, we hope you just have a great weekend. We will see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.